and I'm putting together a special team, and I need me eight soldiers. Eight Jewish American soldiers. Now, y'all might have heard rumors about the Armada happening soon. Well, we'll be leaving a little earlier. We're gonna be dropped into France, dressed as civilians. And once we're in enemy territory, as a bushwhacking guerrilla army, we're gonna be doing one thing, and one thing only. Killing Nazis. Whoa, shut that bitch up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to Dixieland, the proletariat. We're going to talk about Southern working class history and current events through a leftist perspective. Make sure to like us on social media at Dixieland, the proletariat, or Dixie Pro. If you want to give your wages to a bunch of rednecks, then subscribe to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash Dixie Pro. Got a lot of cool stuff to give you, including CDs, stickers, a cookbook, Discord server, Twitch stream, and exclusive episodes. We also have a Spotify playlist with some great artists y'all should check out, as well as our merch store. We just now got t shirt designs. Yay! This Yay. podcast is brought to you by Contractional Monogamy, Therapy, Vaping, Living at Home, Modelo, Pushing People in the Swamps, Tommy Cheating Death, and whatever the fuck this episode is about. Shout out to our new Patreon <laughs> subscriber, Andy. A monthly sur Patreon surplus goes to groups that are run by and or help marginalized people directly. As always, I'm Nelson tonight with... Tommy. The boys. Kai, the boys. Kai and her husband are exploring the English countryside. And uh, this street, racing. Street, street racing, street racing on the wrong side of the road. And this episode's for the boys, Woo! dudes rock, baby. Hell yeah, the podcast has lost all legitimacy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and we don't Finish. have a tune out now. <laughs> Southern come down, basically. Uh, so this is a surprise episode. Tommy has kept whatever the topic is for this episode a secret. Uh, he has sent us cryptic messages. Uh, he has called me racial slurs. And uh, yes, he yes. has threatened Tyler's children. Uh, and With racial slurs. With racial slurs. We, <laughs> it was uh, honestly tight as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I felt honored. I felt like I was finally invited to the cookout. Um, <laughs> so I guess... Uh, Without any, without any more uh, of me talking, Tommy, what is this surprise episode about? Okay, so I don't know if you have ever heard uh, the story, but this is the the story of Joseph Byerly. Okay, you honestly got me. I, I have not yeah, heard this story. Yeah, dude. You, oh I, I'm my not, god! I'm not Are you serious? Yeah, I I I have not heard that. No, because you sent. Okay, so. For people who don't know, we have a group chat, right? And Tommy sent a picture of like the Soviet flag and the US flag, which I figured was the Cold War. Then he sent uh the one woman uh tank driver in the Soviet in the Red Army during World War II. And then I was that and the that the famous sniper lady, and then was it was that was that a uh, Zukov at the bottom? Yes. The, yes. So okay, well I'm I'm I actually don't know who this person is. So you really um I'm interested. This is gonna be a good story. Oh, this so is gonna, I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna sit right back and hear I'm the so tale. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, let's go. Hell yeah. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so the story that I'm about to tell is the story of Joseph Byerly. Um, this is 100% true. Um, <laughs> Hit us with them facts, brother. It, it, it is insane. Um, unfortunately, this is just another white guy, but Damn. the story is fantastic and, <sighs> and, you, and you gotta hear it. Like, it, it's great. Okay, so um, uh, this guy grew up in the Great Depression, uh, 1923. Uh, his parents, uh, he, his grandparents were direct immigrants from Bavaria, so he grew up speaking German and English. Um, uh, uh, Pearl Harbor happened around, uh, during, during uh, his high school years. Um, he had a, an athletic scholarship to go to Notre Dame, but he was like, fuck that. I'm gonna he's go like, fight. He's like too many fucking Irish at that fucking Catholic <laughs> university. Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, he is like, yeah, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go shoot some Nazis. 
that's what he that's what he went to do so um he he uh he he joined he he ended up going to the army. He joined the 101st Airborne, um, and he earned the nickname Jumpin' Joe because he would take uh, like m- platoon members would pay him money to take their training jumps for him because like they didn't want to fuck up their ankles or you know get a broken leg <laughs> and be decommissioned. Can you imagine so that? Be like, hey man, take this jump for me. <laughs> this thing I need to like train for and know how to do. Shit. But he got paid. Like he was taking. He wasn't doing it for free. He was like, yeah. Tommy, can I ask you a question real quick? Because I, yeah. I haven't heard this guy. And I'm actually very interested. Sure. Yeah. And uh, so you said he's like where his. So he didn't have any allegiance to to Germany, right? I guess. And he said, "Fuck them. I'm an American, and I want to go fight and kill Nazis." Yeah, yeah. For, well, it wasn't like I want to go fight and kill Nazis. He just really wanted to go fight. I don't yeah. know. This guy, this guy was pretty slack job. Like you should look up pictures of him. He's he's pretty he's a, he's a pretty mean looking motherfucker. So, <laughs> um, uh, uh, okay, okay. So, <clears throat> jumping Joe, jumping Joe. So uh, the OSS uh, was was looking for volunteer paratroopers to go on these suicide missions to give the French money, uh, the the resistance money, uh, and um, man, they were they were like, yeah, yeah, but you're you're gonna get tor- if you get caught, you're gonna get tortured and you're gonna get executed. Like this is straight up a suicide mission. So he went and he did it twice successfully. <laughs> Tell <laughs> he, me you're white without telling me you're white. <laughs> Yeah, he he ended up giving uh giving the French resistance over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in gold, so it was a lot of fucking gold. Wow! That he took, Holy shit! That he I'm... paratrooped it with <laughs> behind enemy lines. <laughs> Quite a minute. Time out. This motherfucker is jumping out of planes with gold bars. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. Him and other people <laughs> that didn't make it. Holy shit! <laughs> God damn. Yeah. So. Uh, D-Day was about to come up and the OSS was looking for uh, a man for a mission. So this mission was to go behind enemy lines the night before D-Day and blow up bridges and, and uh, power stations and key points, you know, to, 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 to stop the Nazis. And so that's what he did. He went in, but uh, they, they took on a lot of uh, anti-air fire and, yeah. um, and there were, the planes were flying way too low and, and way too fast. And he ended up on this church. And, and the church that he ended up on, uh, there is a, there is a, uh, a, a Nazi sniper in the steeple. And so he was shooting at him. And, but he got off the, he got off the, uh, <laughs> the roof. Holy shit. <laughs> he get, it, dude, this is just the beginning. Can you imagine? Hold on, like, wait, 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 wait. Is, are you just reading off the fucking script for Wolfenstein? No. <laughs> I Dude, this guy God, does I'm sound not. like Blaskovitz. Holy I swear, shit. I swear to God, I'm not. But um, he like lands on a fucking church with a bunch of yeah. like just also not- <laughs> also the church that he lands on has a plaque uh memorializing him. Oh damn. and uh, yeah. So um so so lands on this church, like and like like he avoids the sniper fire and he's making his way to this uh he's making his way to this to this power station Making and my way uh, downtown along the way he was you know dodging sniper fire and shit and he blows up the power station with thermite and then he goes building to building killing nazis just shooting them all in the <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and then he, he he kills an entire infantry with like grenades and like explosions holy shit i take like, it back it just sounds like duke nukem <laughs> i was just about to say yeah. oh no there's nazis in this house <laughs> yeah motherfucker was killing everybody and so like he was making his way to this to this bridge one of the key points that uh, he and his other platoon was supposed to go to. This so is Cotton he, Hill. In, this is on time. This is Cotton Hill in real life. He killed him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, sorry, but on his way, on his way to to the bridge, he he like winds up in a uh, machine gunner's nest and he gets captured. And this is the start <laughs> of the craziness <laughs> that's about to ensue. <laughs> okay. Um, so he was marched to a POW camp, and then Im- immediately when he gets there, there are explosions everywhere. And, and he was blown away, had shrapnel in his leg. He got up, he, he, he fixed his shit, and for 12 hours, he hid from the Nazis <laughs> until they eventually got him. 
And then they, uh, and then this time after being captured, they locked him in the back of a truck. And this truck uh, was in a convoy on its way to St. Lo. So during, during, during this convoy, they take uh, uh, allied, uh, uh, Allied troops. I don't know if it was American or not, but it was Allied troops that just rain like stray fired. Oh, on from this the planes convoy. were strafing. Yeah, 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 yeah. They stray fired on this convoy, <laughs> and like through the holes that this stray fire made. Which, by the way, he was one of the few people that survived. Like, <laughs> he, made, <laughs> he he made his way out of the holes of <laughs> of this um of this of this truck, but he was immediately captured because you know it was a whole group of you know people but um so anyway so they finally take them to to saint (laughs) low as as soon as they take him to saint low that night americans had planned an all-night bombing raid on (laughs) saint low (laughs) this sounds like an episode of hogan's heroes (laughs) (laughs) and um and so but joseph and his captors barely survived and then he was moved across several POW camps for like five to eight months, um, finally ending, ending up in a Russian POW camp in Poland, where, you know, in between beatings and tortures, he learned some Russian. You know, he was just like, he learned some Russian, which will, which will be key later on in this story. <laughs> also, also during this, um, when he was taken to this POW camp, they took his dog tags. And they use his dog tags as a as an operation to infiltrate like American troops, but it failed. And so American troops found his dog tags and they declared him dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um they did so that, while, yeah, they did that uh in France, like they got English speaking German troops and they yeah, infiltrated. That's yeah. That's just they infiltrated behind enemy lines, some crazy shit. Yeah. And um where was I? Okay. Okay, Russian P- yeah, he met yeah. he he learned Russian in, in this POW camp and um he and some uh Russian and American POWs they they break out and uh they they head towards a railway. So they get in this rail car and they're like, "Okay, this is going to take us to the Soviets. We're good." And it takes them right into Berlin. And so <laughs> <laughs> and, but luckily for some god knows knows why this this uh, uh, resistance uh, uh, person was there, and he saw them in their POW uniforms, and he and he and he took them, and he hid them for for a couple of days. But then the Gestapo found them, so they were tortured uh, by the Gestapo for for like seven days, and then they were eventually handed over to uh, the the military. And so they took them to, uh, let's see, what did they take them to? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, they took them to Stalag Luf 3. I don't know if you know what that is. But no it's idea. A very famous. Uh, what in a fucking Starship Trooper is that? It's a very famous uh, uh, POW camp. Like, Uh-oh. yeah, it's a bad place. Bad place. Famous for all Some the wrong bad things. news, man. And um, after after some months, uh, Joseph and uh, you know they were being tortured and all. It was it was horrible. You know, of course, like the Gestapo were horrible. Like the things that they did to them, like they beat them until they drift, like as they drifted in and out of consciousness. Uh, they were going to be killed, but uh, somehow or another, like a the Red Cross got in, got involved and like they ended up being handed over to the military. So mm. just lucky, lucky, lucky things just keep happening to these guys. And um, but anyway, so after some months, he and the same POW pals that he was with, they break out of this prison like they tear a hole down through this wall. But Nazi guards were were ready, and they, they were taken on machine gun fire, <laughs> and they killed everybody but Joseph, and they let out the German shepherds. This guy jumped into a lake, iced over lake, swam for two miles, got, <laughs> got out ran into the woods blindly and finally ran into uh ran into the Soviet army. <laughs> yes. God so, damn it. Time out. This man has been <laughs> shot, stabbed and hit with a brick. <laughs> yeah. He's he's got strap men on his leg, beat the shit out of by the Gestapo, chased yeah. by dogs. <laughs> 
<laughs> he swam in a freezing ass cold lake, and now yeah. he's wound up with the Red Army. Okay, now this is gonna be good. Now he's at the Red Army. So, not only is he with the Red Army, he's with Alexand- Alexandra uh, Samosenko, uh, the 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 famous. Uh, she's like the the only female tank leader in the entire. Oh Soviet yeah, Army. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, she was badass, and um. And so after he got better, uh, a couple of days, he, he was like, he asked this guy, he was like, hey, uh, I want to go fight. You know, let's go fight. And he was like, no. <laughs> and then but he goes, he goes and he asked Alexandra. And she, uh, according to him, she didn't say yes or no. She just shrugged her shoulders and she was like, okay. So, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. So, so he joined them and they ended up liberating uh, Stalag Luft Three, and uh, the camp that he came from. Um, and they did a bunch of mo- bunch more shit, but he eventually uh, took an artillery shell in the tank that he was in and, they, and he was taken to a local field hospital where uh, uh, Georgi Zukov just happened to be. And and he wanted to talk to the only American in this Russian, you know, hospital. And he told him his story and he gave him papers to go back, uh, you know, to go back home. And he finally made his way. This was around February 1945, I think. And um, he got to the embassy, told him who he was, and they were like, no, you're not. <laughs> no man there's no fucking yeah. way you're that guy <laughs> yeah they're like uh no you're not and they're like this guy's been dead they had a funeral for him they showed him his obituary like they're like no like, no nah, man he's dead <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um so so they didn't believe him they had him transferred to uh odessa to verify him they couldn't verify him they sent him to egypt they couldn't, aver- they couldn't verify him. And then they finally sent him to this shithole country called Italy. And I know, right? They were, <laughs> they were able <laughs> to do um, fingerprint and verify that it was him. And um, it's the fucking guy. Oh, it's that dude. Hey. And he was, and he ended up getting married in the same church that he had, that his funeral was in, given by the same priest. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. yeah he was later accommodated by a, a bunch of presidents on down the line. Who cares? And, you know, he died, I think, not too long ago. What yeah. a fucking story. What a badass. I killed Fitty Man. And that's like testosterone the bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! Like, what? Reactionaries would use that dude's picture and like would put like someone like a, a Gen Gen Z person, like a, a millennial, be like, "This is what your grandfather was like, and now you're a soy boy." I was like, "Dude, that dude fought <laughs> with communists. You would hate him." <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So do you know how? Uh, what was what was the tank commander's name? Tommy, what was her name? Ale- Alexandra Samosenko. So her story is actually very interesting. Her f- husband fought in the Red Army. And he was killed, and uh, she went to Stalin personally and wanted to uh, be a, a tank driver. And he was like, "What?" And it t- like I forgot if she did it before or after, but she sold everything and bought a T thirty four. And she, I think, yeah, then I think she went to Stalin. Stalin was like, "Yeah, fuck it, all right, cool." <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> and she That's filled badass. a team and fucking sent it in the and was set in the battle. And she's a badass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Anyway, God damn, that was a fucking crazy. I wonder how story. hard it is to drive a tank. It can't be that hard. They made the they <laughs> made the T thirty four easy. I think it's easy to drive. I think I don't think it's hard. If you can drive a tractor, you can drive a tank. Well, I thought like maybe we we save enough uh, Patreon money, we get our own tank. Do I say we buy our own T thirty four? Yeah, it's a tractor with a fucking cannon on it. Is basically what it is. Imagine imagine pulling up to a rally at the Capitol. <laughs> With our own tank. <laughs> oh, man. People would shit a brick. Yeah. 
Well, I was thinking about the local capital. I wasn't thinking about going up to Biden with a tank. <laughs> it's Antifa's tank. <laughs> oh, man. That was a great story, Tommy. Uh, Thank you. Sorry I didn't uh, take up more of your time. No, it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, I just... I didn't know if you knew that, and that's crazy. I knew. A no, that's fucking insane. That's fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, was the only person to fight on both sides of the war. That's why I put the American flag in the. In the, in the oh, oh, okay, okay, interesting. So, did he get any medals from the Red Army? Yeah, for fighting he got. That? He got. He he guys. He has a shit ton of medals, and I don't know if he has any from the Russian side, but for the Soviet side. But um, is he? But he uh, he's got a shit ton of medals. Is he buried like, in Arlington? Do we know? I don't know. I hope so because the, there's a controversy on TikTok. So I'm like one of those white dudes that loves World War II history like way too much. Did a whole thing about this Finnish dude that ended up fighting with the Waff with the fucking Waffen SS, and he called him a badass. Uh, and people were like, "Dude!" And because he was like, he hated communism so much, he fought in three armies to defeat it. <laughs> and it was just like. Oh, he ends up like okay. joining the. He said he joined the German military and it's literally this dude in a fucking Waffen SS uniform, and he calls him a badass. And apparently he got murked in fucking Vietnam by some Viet Cong, and he's buried in fucking <laughs> Arlington. Oh, God. like and everyone's like, why are you praising a fucking Nazi? Like the Finland act, Finland charges this dude with, with, with fucking treason. Like why are you fucking? <laughs> and he's buried in Arlington. I was like, what a fucking loser. <laughs> Goddamn TikTok is weird. I hate it. I'm I'm currently I was I was unbanned today and I'm banned or got rebanned uh until the twenty eighth because I posted a I posted a video that violated community guidelines, quote unquote, with a fucking uh, not that I was just talking about like beating up Nazis because and I put it to the music uh of the hundred and first, like glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. And it was just like all right, like the hundred and first like killed Nazis. It was pretty cool, and I guess some Nazi fucking flagged it for hate speech because, like, on TikTok, like right wingers and Nazis and fascists like run free. I've 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 run into so many like legitimate Nazi accounts with like fuck shit, and I'm just like, oh my god! And they censor like left wing creators, but they just let Nazis just roam wild. It's fucking crazy. Free speech, yeah. Free speech. There's this dude on Red Dead Two online that goes around killing uh clansmen and dudes that dress up as clansmen is pretty dope he posted on tiktok yeah you can find the clansmen in the woods on there no this is online these are these are oh i've tried to find the actual clan i've looked for days and i couldn't find them I, i couldn't i can't Apparently online you can custom make your character so people actually yeah. dress up as like or as close as they can to Klansmen and run around and find uh black characters and, and black players and like a hog time and throw them in the lake and shit. And this dude goes around and finds them and fucking shoots the Klansmen. <laughs> Imagine being E lynched. <laughs> e lynched. I've been e hate crimed. <laughs> This is the 21st century. We thought we'd have flying cars and and here for cancer. No, you can get fucking hate crime online now. Yeah, he lynched. (laughs) God damn. Anyway. Fuck. Anything happened in the news this week? Um, Ben Ben Shapiro got dunked on by... uh, Oh, yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Well, actually... um. Neil oh deGrasse Tyson, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, Tucker Carlson got yelled at by some dude in Montana. Some truck driver called him like the worst fucking human being ever. Hell yeah. <laughs> got in his face like, you're the worst fucking human being ever. Take your Swanson TV dinners and shove them up your ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Man. what happened when it, when it switched. Like, it just seemed like overnight it switched from, uh, what's his name? Fucking... The other shithead news guy. Sean Fuck. Hannity? Yeah, it just like overnight went from Sean Hannity to fucking Terco Car. Like a- <clears throat> Yeah, because Sean Hannity got semi canceled and stuck across. What did he get canceled for? For being t- for being Sean Hannity. I thought you were saying he got canceled for being Tucker Carson. No, I think it was during I don't know what he did, but he I I know he wasn't on 
Is he? Because I don't think he still is on Fox News. No, he's still there. He's just. It's just like Tucker Carlson's the new, like younger. Yeah, they whatever. Just replaced time yeah. slots and shit, and like kind of bump Sean Hannity off to like the old man grave. If you got a hand job from Sean Hannity, would it be Sean Handy? Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to fill time here. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Our our list our our listenership has been down lately, so we got to pick it back up. We got to get people more involved. Oh well, we got to have more episodes like this where we yeah. Uh, I so think um, it's just awkward. It's just awkward. <laughs> a cool story for like fifteen minutes and awkward yeah, silence. Yeah, I, th- I think um I think people don't like us because we're the official tanky podcast. I guess. Um, I think um, I think Stalin did Stalin did not do one thing wrong. <laughs> No, no. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, we'll pick. I up. mean, he's got to be a pretty good. He's got to be a pretty good guy. He was never like me too or anything. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. We'll figure it. Oh, some, some will happen. Maybe it's just. I don't know. I guess people just hate us. It's, it's fine. Yeah. The podcast just naturally die. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't say die. Maybe well, dwindle. There's some thing. So the New Yorker did this whole piece on uh, the dirtbag left, and especially Chapo Trap House, like another hit piece. And so podcasting was uh, trending today on Twitter. So I made sure people knew that we were a podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we're only, we're only like we're only like one fourth dirtbag left. <laughs> it's just you, <laughs> me. But I'm trying. Like I'm putting the effort. You're trying, Tyler. <laughs> Jello. <laughs> Jello. <laughs> Oh my God, damn, that was rough. Like I, I, even, I, I even played that that clip with the edited clip from my wife. She was like, "Yeah, it's, it's still not working for me." <laughs> I, I forgot about the pig thing. Oh yeah, the pig <laughs> yeah, that one's rough. Yeah. But that's, that's a true story. Like it's so funny. Yeah. I'm traumatized by it. Like, <laughs> dude, this the, the fucking dude. Tommy, what was his name again that you just talked about? This guy, like I mean, Joseph Byerly. That that needs to be a movie. Like, can you imagine? This, he's fucking. First off, he's landing on the fucking roof and getting shot at by a sniper, and he's like, "Well, fuck this." He just murks a bunch of Nazis, and then gets like captured five times. Yeah, captured. <laughs> I'm just imagining some away. like Dolph Lundgren looking motherfucker. Dude, yes, one hundred percent. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck if he yeah. dies, he dies. <laughs> Like, like I, I'm gonna catch one piece of shrapnel on my leg. I'm like, fuck it, I won't go home. <laughs> I'm done, y'all. <laughs> Who's playing this guy in the movie? We gotta cast him. It's Dolph uh, Lundgren. Is he still alive? Or I'll play him. I'll play him. We can make our own production. <laughs> a Dixieland of the Proletariat production. Just give me like six months to cycle to do a cycle of steroids. Oh, I, I just, sent you a picture of this PW mugshot. The four of us. Oh goddamn, yeah. The four of us just play every <laughs> character. That motherfucker looks like Oh he's my blind god. Rocks. It looks like he could chew fucking rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. You don't fuck with that dude. He looks like the guy from Masters of the Universe with the iron jaw. <laughs> oh my god but I'd like to cast him with someone who looks nothing like him like to have Paul Giamatti play him what just do just, just random have... yeah <laughs> Nelson you kind of look like Paul Giamatti oh and Paul Giamatti I don't know how Paul Giamatti sounds like he's always like, like concerned and Stressed. I think it'd be funny if all four of us just play the like Tyler. You're the you're the the main guy, and just me, Tommy, and Kai just switch out as different characters. <laughs> Tommy, can you play the Nazi? Can I play the Nazi? <laughs> I, don't like the, I don't think that's appropriate. I think it's only appropriate if the whitest <laughs> people here. <laughs> oh my god no but so it's like that uh, that australian uh tv show danger five where the same group of people play all the bad guys someone has seen <laughs> they just got killed like two scenes later they're back 
No, Nelson, you play the Nazis, but play them with the, the very thick Italian accent. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm oh. a Joseph the fucking Mangala. <laughs> what is this I guy doing do- on the roof of this church? Comes to do a little fucking science. Oh my god! <laughs> Can we do a narration of what uh, uh, of how Kai and and uh, and um, God damn it, guys, trip is going? I think he's going great. Did you see that Supra? It's pretty badass. No, we need to do a narration though. Look, every every trip she goes Hello. to in England, and I see the pictures on Facebook. Everything just looks like the picture on the country crop label. <laughs> Going down, going down here in my Supra. Going down to see the sights. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Driving on the wrong side of the with road. The, with the horses. No. I don't <laughs> when she told us horses. about the law, don't molest the horse. Kai, don't molest the horses, Kai. Kai, Aiza, leave the horses alone, Kai, Aiza. she's in it. I mean, it looks really nice. It looks like a lot of fun. I wish I had a Toyota Supra. Tommy, tell Anyways, us. Nelson, when's the next album coming? When's the next album? It's not. I literally sold some music equipment today. There's not going to be another album. You Tommy. didn't sell your Martin, did you? No, God, no. I'm keeping the guitar. I, I sell most everything else. I thought you were putting out a rap about one. <clears throat> no, God, no. Tommy, we got we got another story. What do you mean? Do I have another story? Get Joe Biden in here and tell us another story. <laughs> Or either, hey, just you, get got him, Biden. you got him on speed dial. Look, let's look. let's call Joe Biden up. Ring, 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 Joe Biden is dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Joe Biden has died. He has received an envelope full of anthrax. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's chilling with Herman Cain. I'm not a, I thought it was my grandkids' coloring book. Oh, Joe, President Biden, you're alive. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I can't wait for his dementia to go even worse. President Biden joining us from hell. <laughs> I'm, I'm alive because I'm vaccinated. <laughs> what about you, Jay? <laughs> you get the government not- <laughs> cooties yet? I saw a video of that motherfucker the other day just sitting there curling, and he's like, yeah, I do like a million of these a day. That's how I stay in shape, Jack. Keep your body sharp and keep your mind free. That's how I live my life, Jack. Victory. (laughs) Oh, God. Did he ever start up those fireside chats? Because they thought he was going to bring them back. I wish, man. Like, who listens to the fucking radio anymore? Would this be like the Joe Biden podcast? <laughs> that would be fucking great. He starts giving out national secrets on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, t- I told, I told, I told Xi Jinping. <laughs> he starts like telling us the nuclear codes. He's talking to Kamala Harris and he just, hey, come here, Condoleezza. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, is that you? <laughs> no, Joe. <laughs> oh my God! You we're know he's so, had to hit on her. Like he's had to make some really appropriate oh, yeah. comments. Oh yeah, definitely. We're so fucked. <laughs> we're so fucked. <laughs> It'd be so sick if they were fucking though. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Marjorie Taylor, I saw a thing on TikTok. Marjorie Taylor Greene said that if she was in charge, she would de- she would quote unquote deport all Chinese who are loyal to the Chinese <laughs> Communist Party. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jackie Chan. I'm going to deport, Jan, I'm gonna you deport can't come back. all of the Chinese. Get out of here, Chinese people. <laughs> and the host no tried to. More. Whoever the person was is trying to like get her to be like, all right, you know, you you framed this totally wrong. I'm talking to you, Kung Fu Panda. Oh my God. Yeah, whoever was in that area, say side. Say side. <laughs> say side. <laughs> no <laughs> more general souls. All Chinese. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Oh God. 
No more Panda Express. That's the base of the fucking Republican Party. We're so goddamn fucked. <laughs> MT MTG. Oh, did you hear about um, Marjorie Taylor Greene and um, and who's that? Who's that pedophile? Uh, Matt Gates. Matt Gates says tour is losing money. Like hand over hell, hand. yeah. <laughs> oh God, it's such trash people. <laughs> I, heard, I heard Novel is making a good turnout every every uh, show though. <laughs> Apparently, Don Jr. passed Ron, uh, just uh, passed Ron, DeS- Ron DeSantis for like the most popular Republican, whatever, according to some poll. So, Don Donald Trump Jr. is gonna be president, y'all. Oh, it's it's gonna happen. <clears throat> Yo, did y'all see uh, fucking uh, Baron? The picture of Baron. Yeah, like, he's like much- he's like six foot seven. Dude's a beast. Like it's terrifying. Yeah. I can't wait for him to go into a fucking <laughs> rage fit and beat his dad to death. <laughs> what if he's just just like super woke and he just goes and just ends the whole Trump line? <laughs> he's like, I must end it. I must end it all. Or he's a fucking Chinese sleeper cell. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking sleeper agent for Xi Jinping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yes. The dude's like six foot seven. He should be play, playing basketball. I've come to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he like goes up to Trump. He's like, I know what I must do, but I don't know if I have the courage to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, father. <laughs> But you must die. Here and he now. just walked into Donald Trump's room at night, just speaking fucking Mandarin. <laughs> I can't say it like I want to. I want to be the racist, but imagine me saying Chinese words. <laughs> Insert Chinese words here. Insert Chinese, Chinese words, words here. <laughs> That was hilarious. I can do it, but I won't. Uh-huh. I'm actually I'm actually fluent in Mandarin, but I'm not gonna. You're do not. It. <laughs> and then, how, what do you think he does? He gets a pillow and smothers his dad. No, he just fucking headbutts him into his head and just <laughs> fucking like a, like a like a sandwich at the bottom of a lunchbox with a heavy thermos. Oh in. my god! This is, this is gonna hurt me a lot more than it's gonna hurt you. But it's not gonna hurt him at all because he's wired to not feel pain. <laughs> He's been conditioned. Once they he give him that, them all out. he listens to that one number station. He flips. He's like, <laughs> yes, Xi Jinping, I will kill my father. Just grabs whatever Trump's supermodel's wife name is and just beats Trump to death with her. Melania. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Milano. Melania. Oh, oh, cookie. Oh, my God. Okay, Baron. Okay. Yeah, what? Why is, She's totally why? cool with it because she hates Trump. Just okay. like, yeah, beat him to death. Use me. Use me. I will be the tool of your destruction. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like some bam, bam shit. Bam, 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 bam. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> with his mom. So like, just beating Trump to death. Good, Baron. Good, good, Baron. <laughs> you see, like, oh, Putin, you see, like, Putin in the closet rubbing his hands together. Like, yes. Yes. Good, good, <laughs> good. Oh, Rachel Maddow has a stroke because she, she's like, I was right the entire time. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you about this great meme I saw the other day that like <laughs> that, that my dad shared unironically. And it was a uh, goddamn Joe Biden pulling his face off, and under his face was Barack Obama. <laughs> and the text, the text on it was like <clears throat> If this surprises you, you've not been paying attention. <laughs> so, so, like, I'm, I'm just hoping, like, it really is Barack Obama under there. Oh my! And like God. a Joe yeah. Biden mech suit. I've been, uh, I've been doing white face this whole time. Uh, let me clear. Uh, uh, let's be clear. I fooled you. <laughs> and then once he pulls off the Joe Biden face, he pulls off the Obama face, and it's yeah. just a drone. <laughs> 
The fucking T. It's been Skynet the whole time. The fucking T one thousand. Oh my god! That man loved drones so much he became a drone. <laughs> uh, let me clear. I'm gonna fly around and just start blowing shit up because I'm a drone now. Uh, I'm gonna start killing civilians and blaming it on the technology. <laughs> It's time to blow up a daycare in the Middle East. <laughs> no, I'm sold. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Apparently, I don't have any details, but I just saw this like about five minutes before we're recording. There's been more Israel's doing more attacks, like more bombings on uh, the Palestinians again. You know, same old, same old. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like for people who can't see, total, total change of subject, but people who can't see. Tyler is at his background is the the ninth realm of hell. Uh, no, the the last realm of hell in Dante's yeah, Inferno. Ninth, ninth realm. Circle. And uh, his voice is <laughs> is fairly demonic this evening, so I think that has something to do with it. Yeah, I've crossed over. Um, you see Herman Cain. Those who did, yeah, me and him are hanging out. Yeah, I overdosed about three nights ago. Um, <laughs> no one's found my body yet. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> And I'm down here talking to Herman Cain, and apparently, like, he overdosed, too. <laughs> they thought it was, like, COVID, but he doesn't have too much of that Godfather's pizza. Oh, yes. The Coleons, <laughs> the Coleons special. And Herman Cain, my favorite Italian. <laughs> did, uh, did, did Rush Limbaugh and Donna Rumsfeld start a podcast in hell? <laughs> no, Rush Limbaugh's in heaven, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> but see, what I was, was gonna that? go buy some of the. I was gonna buy some of those oxen off of them down here. But it was that last minute Catholic forgiveness, is what. It did. Yeah. It was like. So now he's up there. He's up there facing all those. Uh, all those poor LGBTQ people he mocked. And they're just, they're just beating the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah. That's their. That's their heaven. Yeah. <laughs> what a piece of shit. God, the world's such a better place without him. I know, right? Oh, my God. I'm glad it was like he just withered away, too. Fuck him. Yeah. Um, do you see the new Spider-Man movies? How they're fucking making uh, J. Jonah Jameson like a Rush Limbaugh, Alex Jones type character? Well, he is. Well, if, <laughs> kinda. Kinda. <laughs> but it's like, it's like a modern update. It's, it's, it's pretty. It's, it's, it's funny. I like it. But I feel like he already was a sensationalist. Yeah, okay. Well, he's more like a like a. I'm trying to think of a newspaper mogul. Jeff oh, Bezos. <laughs> god damn! I look up his net worth today, and I got sick. Oh god, my god, god dude! His his fucking. It's more than like some the GDPs of entire country. It's like, why do you not have a fucking drug problem? You have all this money, you can afford it. You're you see, wasting your fucking time. Did you see he had his his like Rolex watch outside of his uh flight suit? And he had a super cowboy hat on. They're like, Do you want to leave space again anytime soon? He's like, Hell yeah, I do. And I was like, Oh my god. No god. wonder no wonder your wife left you. <laughs> no Talk about money. a lick. That <laughs> no was way. a lick. Her getting that divorce. I know, <laughs> right? Got half his fucking money. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can't wait until they send Joe Rogan to space. <laughs> I, I really thought Trump would... Be, well, Joe, apparently they uh, Trump's people wanted him to go on Joe Rogan's podcast, but the stipulation was uh, is that Joe Rogan had to come to the White House. And yeah, Joe, and then, and then uh, Joe Rogan could only... like They were going to give Joe Rogan the questions to get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I really wish that... It would have been the other way around. Like now, Trump would just show up on Joe Rogan, like smoke some weed, and start telling us like aliens are real. <laughs> just tell the weed. I want to see him like hit a fucking line yeah, right yeah. up the table. He's Let like, me "Tell you folks, aliens are so real." <laughs> I know who killed JFK. I know who did it. It was a good assassination. I know who did it. Listen, folks, aliens, the boogeyman, Sasquatch. It's all real. See, I miss the days when, when it was just Trump talking shit about Ted Cruz. Those were those were better times. <laughs> no, right? The Republican, right. The 2016 Republican primary was lit until fucking Trump won. Until like Trump won the. <laughs> 
Like everything leading up to like Trump winning was just nah, fucking golden. Not going to lie. That's just going to be dope again in 2024. When he's <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Uh, Start dunking on white folks. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh, oh, you must have civility and decorum. Oh, because like the Democrats, they have no one who can beat him again. No, nah. like, well, Joe Biden said he's gonna run again, but if, if he's even fucking able to run, nah. like, if he's god. like, all the oh my god, I know, anybody that you vote for that nigga again. <laughs> yeah. Oh Damn. god, no, people, people just voted for him because he wasn't Donald Trump. Look, after yeah, let, let me. You know when Trump fuck. You know when you know when Biden fucked up. I I tell you the the very you ain't black Jack. The exact moment Biden fucked up is when he gave these niggas sixteen thousand instead of two thousand dollars. <laughs> hell, yeah. he said hell yeah, no. six hundred. Like he said fourteen hundred plus six hundred. Yeah. That's two thousand, right? That's like that's when he fucked up. You just lost every black vote in the world. You're done. Yeah, I don't. I don't care what the the shit libs say. If it's this bad next time, it's okay to send it out. It's okay. They're not gonna get me again. They're not gonna. They're not gonna trick me into voting for another shitty Democrat. Fool me once, shame on you. Yeah. Fool me twice. Just fool me two times. You, you motherfuckers fool me made again. me vote for Hillary, and then you motherfuckers made me vote for Joe Biden. No, I ain't going out like that. Not again. I just, I just love being in Alabama where our vote doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but these motherfuckers still like. I'm so tired of side fucking Democrats. I'm so fucking tired of them. Like, I'm, I won't do it anymore. Like, I won't. Yeah. It's bullshit. They're yeah. just as fucking bad. If not worse, because they're not up they were, shit. They were fucking pray. Okay, so real quick. They were on TikTok. In, in, like, it's blown up in national news. But K. Ivy, our, our Governor Meemaw, was saying, oh, we got to start blaming unvaccinated folks for the problems now. And, like, everyone was like, oh, my God, yes, K. Ivy, like, the liberal media and, like, uh, like, no, much girl like ball. oh thank oh, you okay ivy yes thank you for saying what yeah I, queen. I was, I was, yes queen i was like hold on wait time up for time out first off fuck governor Mima. second she hasn't expanded medicaid so all of our rural hospitals got fucking shut down she fucking has outlawed vaccine passports she fucking doesn't want to have a mass mandate for schools in the fall when kids go back and it's just it's, it's fuck no and she she had an yeah, entire like, year to to fucking prep for this shit, and she did jack shit, just fucking jack. She did the bare fucking minimum. She extended the mask ordinance for a little bit longer than other southern governors. Now everything's fucking wide open, and she ain't shutting down again for the Delta no. variant. We're fucked. Uh, they were, we're last. She, we are dead fucking last. She was given millions to start an incentive program, which she has not started. Like a perfect an allegory. <laughs> For the working class and liberals, it's fucking Titan. Leonardo DiCaprio is the working class. The the fucking bitch who let him die are the goddamn liberals. When they want some fucking when they want something that benefits them, as in Leonardo DiCaprio dicking her down, that's fine. But don't ask them to share their goddamn doors so you don't fucking get hypothermia and fucking die. I'll never let you go. I'll never let as she lets him go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know who had the right idea? What? Fucking Billy Zane. Grab a kid, say it's yours, get on the boat, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the dude who shot himself and said, fuck this. <laughs> well, yep. Yeah, I mean uh, yeah. That's always that's always an yeah, this fucking boat. Oh my god, this is turning to an after dark episode quickly. <laughs> But no, man, god, like, man. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, dude, when I saw that shit, people, and then, like, fucking on TikTok, fucking, uh, it was in North Alabama, some fucking college, young Democrat, whatever, was, like, uh, with the all the hashtags in his bio were, like, uh, oh, we should, uh, she actually did better than blah, 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 blah. I'm, like, praise, she's, like, like, the dude was, like, praising her. I'm just, like, how the fuck do you praise Kay Ivey? Like, she fucked the COVID shit. She fucking wanted to outlaw abortion. Like, stop praising this person. She's not good. Wait, what about the city council guy in North Alabama who dropped the hard R? Oh, my God. Him? Yeah. Where the fuck was that again? He, he, he literally asked uh, somewhere in North Alabama. Literally asked the black lady, are you a house in work? 
Oh my God. Yeah. And then someone asked him, someone asked him, are you racist? And he said, uh, well, it depends on what your definition of racist is. And he refuses to apologize for it. And he's like, and now I'm running for mayor. Tommy like, muted. F- Tommy muted. This is, this is after, uh, the count, uh, one of the people brought up the fact that his wife used that same word online. And he gets up and calls up the council. <laughs> to be fair, she was quoting rap lyrics. <laughs> and that's what he uses. He was like, to be fair, I was quoting what my wife said online. And she was quoting rap lyrics, so it's like six yeah. degrees of separation, yeah. so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just quoting Tommy. I'm just, it's, it's totally fine. How yeah, racist okay. do you have to be to, to just be like, not only am I not apologizing, <laughs> motherfucker, I'm running for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> All the time, and all in the time, Alabama, he'll win. All the times we're <laughs> like, look, the South is getting better. It's not, it's not as bad as it used to be. Fucking city councilman drops hard R. God damn it. <laughs> my God. Oh my God. Bless whoever leaked that. That was that's great. That's fucking it was, great. Uh, it was a hilarious watch and it was very disheartening, but god damn. <laughs> It's, oh, it's like just as good as fucking uh, oh, what was it? Chance the Rapper was doing a live performance before COVID like a, like a year or two ago, probably like two years ago. And he brought that one white chick on stage and to do a verse. And she said the N word in front of all the fans in the crowd. And she just like did like this troll face. And everyone was like, are you are you that fucking stupid? Well, to be fair, the only people in the crowd at a Chance the Rapper concert are white. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I mean, to be fair. Damn. You ever listen to Kanye when he, whenever he like says the N word, like he always adds an R to the end, like to the point where it's like once you notice it, you get a little uncomfortable. Yeah, he it's he does say. He, but he's free. He is free. He is free from that Kardashian curse. So what is what's he? Doing? I haven't heard the new album yet. Is it any good? No, he hadn't dropped it yet, right? He's he hasn't oh, dropped well, it. He's I think living... he's going to go on a listening party. Like a listening to her. Oh, he's li- he's literally he's living in the Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta. No, he's God, not. that is such a that is such a yeah. false move. He literally uh, he showed up. They had like a mask on, a full face mask thing, and he was like, so he was watching the Atlanta United, I think, play, and he was so like amped by the energy. He got his people to like set him up a space in the stadium to live and finish the album. That is the most pretentious shit I've ever fucking heard. Oh my god! I the love pom- Kanye though. Love the Kanye. pomposity. <laughs> god. Of his non cacacity I hope this album's good. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be like I. I, I A woman I'm so good. heartless. He samples his own song. God, he, he's he's Michael Jackson. Like I don't think he's molested kids yet. <laughs> God damn! God. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't, know. I don't know if I would put him up there with Michael Jackson. I, like I default the motherfucker I'll sold def- out the def- arena, and he didn't sing a song. He just oh sat yeah, there I forgot they, he did that. He played the entire album, <laughs> and pe- it was like a religious event to people. He's Michael Jackson who hasn't had sex with kids yet and can't dance. And he broke the Kardashian curse. I think he would actually, if he actually ran for president, he'd probably win. No. You don't no. think so? He's still black. And if he ran as a Democrat. <laughs> no. No, no. You don't think so? Nobody's ever going to no. forgive the shit that he did with this last election. With his what? On a political, like what he did this last election. Oh, Nobody's yeah, with, with Trump, like, yeah. He, but he's oh, got God. a chance ever. Yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> shit, they barely wanted Obama. Let me clear. Like, who was, who was running with Obama? Like, who, who were the Democrats then? Like, in which year? 2008? Uh, the, yeah. the first, the first year. It was Obama versus Hillary versus Biden mm-hmm. versus, uh, What's his face? The dude from South Carolina ended up having a kid out of wedlock. 
Uh, that oh, was John Kerry's oh, running mate. John yeah. Edwards. John Edwards. John Edwards. Yeah. The cool dude from Alaska, that senator that actually is like has a heart and a conscience. And uh, uh, um, um, Dennis Kucinich. Howard Dean. Everything. Howard Dean. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Like I was in like ninth grade when all that happened. We had to write we had to write a report on all the like we had to pick a presidential candidate. Yeah, and it was all just like white dudes or Hillary Clinton. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Obama. I don't know shit about him. He won. That's that's probably why he won. That was my first. That was my first presidential election. I got to vote that year. I voted for Obama. Yay. You would have voted for him a third time too if you could. Exactly. <laughs> as I as I gave Tommy some tea. <laughs> I still haven't seen Get Out. I don't what? get any references. What? Yeah, I haven't watched it. Oh my god. It's good. It's good. That's how that's how I know you're racist because you haven't seen Get Out. <laughs> find like, a, find oh. a person of color who hasn't seen it and watch it with them for the first time. Watch how awkward that room gets. <laughs> watch it with Tommy and just laugh at all the inappropriate parts. <laughs> <laughs> I shut up. I told your brother happy. Oh, for people who don't know, uh, Tommy's brother Tony uh, refused to tell. Uh, ref, I've known I've known both of them for like fifteen years, and Tony refused to ever tell me his birthday for fifteen years. And uh, Tommy finally told me today, confirmed it, and I wish Tony happy birthday. And Tony didn't really say anything. He was like, he didn't say like, how do you knew? It was kind of really anticlimactic. Unlike unlike the uh, the lie. That was perpetuated about about uh, the mother passing away on my birthday. That Tony m- convinced me was <laughs> real for years. Oh man, that's funny. Oh, that is a good one. We got to get him on the show. We really do. The Black no. Venture Hero. No. Uh, no. Logically, statistically, um, fact, uh, logically, factually, statistically. Um, uh, he said some off the wall <laughs> shit today. Oh, I can't repeat God. it. Don't even ask. No. Me. What do you say? What do you Come say? Come on, go. We'll make it an pick, after pick, dark. Pick no, it's not an after dark. Pick 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 one. No. Just pick one crazy thing that he said. No, no, no. I can't say it. No. He told. He, remember when he remember when he told like, remember when he told us about the uh, the Derek Chauvin trial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was bad. But was so bad. this is this is so bad. I can't say it. No, it's worse than that, dude. It's so bad, Nelson. It's. Oh. Bad. Can you say it off air? I'll, I'll yeah, I'll say you off air. Okay. Your brother loves Ben Shapiro. Yeah. And he yeah, blames yeah. you. He said that is because every time y'all would argue, you would lie. So he had to look up facts and statistics. And that, yeah. And that you know where you go when you want facts and statistics? You go to conservatives. And stuff. <laughs> that, that, makes sense. Yeah. that makes real fucking sense. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> I, got a, I got a best friend who loves fucking Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson. And it's just, uh, well, actually, if you clean your room, and trans people aren't real. <laughs> that's, that's my Jordan Peterson. That's funny. Please help me. My daughter's on the hostage and I'm addicted to Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Jordan Peterson to drop a fucking album as a SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> I was oh, addicted God. to Benzos. <laughs> Oh, oh fucking! So we've somehow been at this for about an hour now. So we got about like five minutes before it's an hour. My wife is dead, so I can only eat meat. <laughs> I have colon problems now. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me half an hour to, to shit. I want to see a, bi- a Jordan Peterson biopic where he's played by Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis gets addicted yeah. to benzos just so he can have the fucking detox <laughs> for the movie. <laughs> oh my god! I killed my wife. <laughs> 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 Those are terrible Jordan <laughs> Peterson impressions and Daniel Day Lewis impressions. <laughs> oh, no, that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Da- 
Day- can you imagine like Daniel Day Lewis getting dementia and like just <laughs> reverting back to his characters over and over and over again? Yeah. <laughs> it's like fucking Bill the Butcher is like, is that it? Is that is that the Pope's army? It's like, sir, you're in a you're in a hospital right now. <laughs> May the true Christian Lord guide my, my hand, hand against your Roman popery. <laughs> What other what other what other shit? That last movie that he did, whatever it was, like somebody got me. They're like, you need to watch it. It's so good. But they gave me the plot for Schindler's List. I've never seen Schindler's List. I went in the movie thinking, like, oh, he's gonna fucking help people escape Nazi camps. (laughs) But he's just some fucking like artist who gets in a relationship with a bitch who keeps poisoning him. (laughs) (laughs) And he's actually poisoning himself in real life because he's that man. Yeah. Oh my god. God. Oh, Daniel Lewis is great. <sighs> was he in, he's in Gangs of New York, whatever that was he last of the Mohicans? Yeah, he's last of the Mohicans, Gang of New York, uh There Will Be Blood, uh, a handful of other things. I wanna see his ass in a fucking comic book maybe. Oh god. <laughs> what superhero would he play? <laughs> I want to see him be Doctor Doom. Doctor <laughs> Doom. That'd be so sick. Oh god! He, like actually enslaved an Eastern European country to get into fucking like the method acting. <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking shows up in fucking where would he like fucking Bosnia? Yeah. <laughs> Propped up by America. They love it here. They have no choice. <laughs> the CIA places them there. There you go. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh. Anyway, if you've made it to the end of this episode, uh, thank you so much. Kyle will be back next episode. Uh, <laughs> so we'll have some legitimacy. Thank you, Tommy, sure, sure. for uh, for telling us that awesome story about that dude. It's pretty dope. Um, yeah. We we got t shirts at our merch store, so check it out. Link in the bio. Um, anything else y'all want to uh, talk about real quick before we go? It's been about an hour. Figure. Uh, do we want to talk about the all right guy being a fucking strasserist, Nosbol, whatever? No. Oh yeah, Matthew Heinbach wants to fucking. Uh, now he's like a national Bolshevik, and he fucking wants to restart the traditional workers' party. Did you see where they he snuck in and tried to get on? Uh, they actually posted it. He tried to be a speaker at a Medicare for All rally, and they actually posted it on their on their thing. And people were like, "Holy <laughs> shit, fucking Matthew Heinbach is a fucking Nazi!" And they didn't know and took it down. <laughs> wow. Apparently, he's tried to sneak into like uh, East Tennessee Democratic uh, Party meeting, saying he's like with the DSA or some shit. It's like, oh my god. Wouldn't surprise me if he was with the DSA. <laughs> Sorry, no, he, cha- but- <laughs> he changed. Shut up, he changed his name. He's not Matthew Heinbach anymore. It's like Matt uh, Bach something. He like tried to like do by a different name. Bolshevik. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Bolshevik, it's Bolshevik. Oh my god. Anyway, all right. Oh. We good? Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, man. All right, the Dixieland, the proletariat, believe the South arise again, but this time for the right reasons, those being worker-owned means of production, decolonization, and self-determination for all oppressed peoples. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to us on social media at Dixie Pro. We are coming to you from the birthplace of the civil rights movement, Montgomery, Alabama, as well as the United Kingdom. We'd also like to recognize we're recording on occupied land that rightfully belongs to the Muscogee Nation. Tommy, thanks again for the surprise episode. That actually was a really dope story. Uh, that dude's kick-ass. Be more like that guy. Uh, parachute behind enemy lines with a bunch of gold. Uh, escape from POW camps and kill Nazis. Tyler? Well, good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We'll see y'all next time. Woo!